Hey, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. And today we're going to get going on the Technical Alert Workbench. We're going to show you how to access the Technical Alert Workbench, show you how easy it is to build advanced alerts as well as price alerts, and then set your notification settings and manage your alerts. Let's get started. So as a Stock Charts member, there are a couple places you can access your technical alerts. I'm here on the Charts and Tools page. And if you scroll down on the right navigation there, you're going to see a Members Tools section. And there is a link for the Technical Alert Workbench. Also, if you go to your dashboard, you can see a link for that up at the top of every web page. And if you click on that, you will be taken to your members homepage. And at the top right of every page on the website, you'll see that alerts button there. And then on the left hand side, you have the technical alert workbench. So if I click on that technical alert workbench, I will be taken to the workbench and I can get started. So here on the alert workbench, you can see for alert type, the price one is shaded. So we're going to do a price alert and it's a very simple step-by-step -step process. Process. I say alert me via and I can do SMS, website or email and I'm going to choose email. And for the symbol, I would like QQQ. And so I'll just enter QQQ and then you can see what's neat is you get a little pop-up chart and that can help you set your alert. So if say I'm long QQQ and I wanna know when it closes below a certain level, I can choose below, you can see it's shaded now. So crosses below and I can pick my level. I can also use this little drop down menu for a percentage drop or a percentage advance. But say I wanna know when it goes 5% down, so I click that selection and I get 180.51, and that's 5% below the current closing price. But I say, well, that's a little bit too low for me, so I'm gonna select the, the set, set this at 185. And when I'm done, I'm just gonna click Save Alert down there in the lower left, and I will have a new alert that will send me an email if QQQ closes below 185. Now this is just a basic price alert, but we can easily convert this to an advanced alert with just one click. There are two places to do that. If you see in the lower right, there's a button there, convert to advanced. And then in the upper left corner, you can see alert type. So I can click on advanced and now I can see the scan code basically for this alert. So symbol is quotation QQQ and the close 185 crosses above the close, which means the close crosses below 185. So at the top of the technical alert workbench, there you can see some option buttons for working with your alerts. There you can see I can open up an existing alert. I can create a new one, save, delete, and view all. And I'm going to start with a new one. I didn't make any changes to the other one. And I've got some simple code here. The symbol in question here is Apple. And I'm using MACD and the MACD signal line. And I'm looking for the MACD signal line to cross above the MACD line. And what that means is basically the MACD line is crossed below the signal line. So I'm looking for a downturn in the MACD line with this scan. So once I've written my code there, I go down to the lower left and I check the syntax to make sure it's okay. The syntax is okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Apple MACD signal line cross to save that alert. Now there are a few more options that I can change here. I can make this continuous all day, mark it open hourly or at the close. I'm just gonna say continuous all day if it ever happens intraday. And I wanna know when that alert triggers more than zero times, one time at least. I can be notified by SMS or the workbench. And I'll choose the workbench since I'm on the stock charts workbench all day, every day. And I'm gonna automatically Pause, no, I wanna continue this alert. And then I save those options, click OK. 
So I should point out, if you scroll down below the technical alert workbench there, if you're the advanced alert type, you can see all the alert components and it looks just like when you're writing a scan. So you can easily insert a technical indicator or a candlestick pattern or many other indications. And then just below, you've got a lot of help links where you can find out more information. You can also easily manage your scans by clicking on the view all button over there on the right hand side near the top. So I'm going to click on that button and there I can see all of my alerts. At the top I've got my price alerts and if you hover over the alert you can see the chart. And so on the chart for QQQ I can see that there is a support level there around 185 from that low. And so that's where my alert is if we cross below 185. And I can see the last price is 190 and the delta is 5, which is 5%. It means we need to go 5% down to cross below that level. And for XLK, I've got to cross below 76. And you can see that would put it right near that mid-June low. So the scan is running. I can click this button to pause it and I can click the arrow to run it again and I can click the trash can of course to delete it and I can also create a new one right there with the button plus new. Then just below I've got the advanced alerts and there you can see I've got two alerts. Okay so MACD is above its signal line for Apple right now but I want to know when it crosses below so I've got that alert set. It is running and if it is triggered I get a last alert date and time in that last alert box. And then I've got SPY crosses below the 50 day SMA because SPY is above it. I want to know when it crosses below. Now I've currently have this alert set up for an email alert to be automatically sent to me. And if I change that to SMS, then I will get a link up there at the top to update the SMS number I want that to be delivered to. And there's a nice pop-up where you can enter that. Help and resources are always just a few clicks away on our website. If you go to the right-hand corner at the top, you can see a help link. There's also a search icon there that you can click. And I'm just going to search for technical alerts. And there you will see support articles that will help you out with writing your technical alerts. And also be sure to check out our videos. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.